<sighs> gonna get myself some coffee here. Captain Mill G, this is Zulu Tango Fox Ride. Do you read me over? Zulu Tango Foxtrot, this is Captain OG. Read you loud and clear. Over. Captain, the red team back here at HQ have looked into your blood moon phenomenon. Apparently, other survivors from the quarantine zone have reported similar occurrences. They're still working on some theories about why this is happening, but more urgently, I'm afraid I got some bad news for you, sir. Over. Oh, yeah? What is a ZTF? Over. Well, apparently, this blood moon thing happens every seven days, and, uh, well, it's been uh, seven days since you last reported in. Over. Well, shit. Guess I'd better find a place to fortify before nightfall then. I just fixed up RS Delta, and I don't want it to get foobarred and have to do it all over again. Cop of that, Captain. At least you got some extra beans and bullets from yesterday's airdrop to assist. Over. Uh, about that, ZTF. Gotta be kidding me, Captain. Alpha 6 is gonna have an absolute shit fit when he finds out you've lost two supply drops now. He'll fang us both. Over. Well, ZTF, maybe you could do me a solid and keep this on the down low until I can find him. Over. Well, Captain, if you weren't one of the best snake eaters I've ever had the pleasure to work with, I'd say that's a big no, but since it's you, sir, I got your six. Over. I knew you weren't no blue falcon, ZTF. Well, I better hat up and figure out this clusterfuck. Over. Good luck, Captain, and Godspeed. Over and out. All right, welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Night on Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. Uh, in this episode, we have to get ready for Horde Night 14, and we don't have a solution in place, but I have an idea of what we're going to do. Before we get started, a couple things. Uh, we have a uh, point to spin. We're going to put that into run and gun. And now we have a 25% more accuracy firing from the hip and no movement penalty when reloading, which is amazing. Okay, um, I made uh, two, or no, sorry, three double pocket mods. We found the schematic for that a couple episodes ago. So we got one in the helmet. Um, we have one in the arm piece and one in the legs. So we now have only three slots left to uncover. And even with when we, if, if and when we do fill those up, three slots is not going to encumber us a whole lot. I have in my inventory, um, everything we, everything I have, you know, basically for resources, both, uh, ammunition wise resources to do the build that we're going to do and, uh, food and medicine, just in case we don't, uh, you know, have time to get back here before the Horde Night starts. And let's set out and get started. So I have an idea of what I want to do. And I, I was just kind of looking around a little bit last night before the before I came back to the base. And we're going to try something uh, with this POI over here. This is um that Tier 1 restaurant that we did a while back. And uh, the reason I'm picking this is because it is pretty stout. It's a 5,000 hit point block building. Um, so it's really strong and it's got some ledges up on top that we could potentially utilize, uh, for what we want to do. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is we're going to, um, we're going to take this ladder out cause it's damaged and let's take our cobblestone. In fact, I want to make some more cobblestone blocks. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's make maybe 40 of these because we're going to need them for stuff. And we'll turn this into ladder and put those there. Okay. Now, let's come up here. Oh, we got a bird. Oh, you dirty rat. Dirty bird. Are you going to fall down? Okay. Um, let's remove this, uh, ladder here. Good. Um, now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to remove this block here. Um, yeah, let's do it.
Okay, good. Uh, because I don't want them going that over uh, onto that side. And I think also, uh, let's go to shape. Um, I think we'll also put that there. And maybe even two there just to further discourage them from going over there. Okay, so <clears throat> what I want them to do is, you know, climb up the ladder here and then run along this ledge. Run along this ledge. And this ledge. Now, when they get to here... I haven't fully thought this out. It's just it's just kind of a, an idea that has come to me. Um, what I think will... What we could have them do is run all the way around to this side. Okay. And then maybe what we'll do is have them climb up here. Okay, so that gets them up here. Then they would run, we can have them run all the way over to here. Okay, so what if we... Here, I need to get back up here. I can't get that to connect to here because we're we're dealing with half blocks, I think. What I was going to maybe do is bring it out there a couple blocks and then have it turn and go towards that piece there. If we're going to do that, I think I'm going to have to break this plate here. I don't think these half blocks or, you know, partial blocks will disrupt their pathing. They can't spawn on them. At least I don't think they can. Unless that's changed. But it shouldn't. They should still be able to path on it, I think. Am I hitting the right thing? I am not. Dock on it. Well, I'm glad I just noticed that now. Okay, so let's put that block in there. Uh, that's using concrete that I can't afford to use, yeah. I will just leave that the way it is. Okay, so we have this block here. Now what we could do is let's jump down here and down here. Bring that to there. And let's do this. Let's grab a couple of those and make them um, these blocks. And what if we do an on face? Right. Okay. Now, let's grab these. Put that there. That there. We are going to need to be careful of SI here. Okay, can we... Yeah, we can put a block there. Okay, so... I'm going to do this on face. All right. Thing is, those we're not going to be able to put 
a block on top of there unless we break this out. So let's get it broken. Okay, so we're going to put that there. Here, let's just see how these guys path. Okay, we're going to need to block this or they're going to... Okay, so he's coming around. Let's just see if they'll path all the way to here. Okay, why is he stopping? Okay, no, he's... Did we... Oh, okay, here he comes. All right. So they'll, they will path up to here, up to this point. I wish I would have had a little more time to get the rest of it done before they showed up, but at least we know they'll they'll path to here. Now, they do appear to get a little hung up there, but we're not going to be standing at this spot anyways. We're going to be somewhere else, so I'm not done yet. But they will path up to this point. Okay. All right, now. Um... <laughs> Look at him going around. That's awesome. I love it. Two Steves. I thought there was another bag. Nice. We need the ammo. Okay, now, what we're going to do is... Bring that over to there. And then I want to put this here, that there, that there. Uh, we better put one more support underneath there. Copy shape, copy rotation. Okay, good. So far, so good. Now, let's grab all of these. Oh, man, I keep doing it. These should all be fine because they're technically on the top of that other block. What I want to have happen next is I want them to run that way. I'm going to... Hopefully those other zombies will stick around for a bit. But let's put this here. Because I don't want them jumping up from down below. Okay, now what we're going to do here is... Is Big Mama pathing? I think she might be. Maybe. I don't know. Yep, she is. Okay. Come up here, big mama. Oh, she fell down there, though. Wait, what What'd she do? Oh, she bailed off the side. Okay. Okay, good. So she's coming back. I'm going to put you there.
All right, don't be destroying that. Okay, so uh, we're going to go this shape again. And we're going to go on face like that. And we're going to do the same thing. Except for we're in the way ourselves. There we go. Nope, didn't quite make that jump. Put that there. Okay, now... Let's do that. And again, I'm going to block this here so they don't think they can come that way from down below. And I think this is the platform that we'll fight them on. But we're going to put a gap. Yeah, we're going to put a gap between those two spots. What's up, Ronnie McDonnie? He's pathing. This is looking promising, you guys. This is actually looking promising. See, now he's got to jump up. He's got to jump down. He's got to jump down. He's got to jump up. He's got to jump up. Up. All of that just to lose his head. Now, I don't like, though, that he... Let's see here. We're going to need to make some more cobble blocks here. Let's make another 20, we'll say. All right. I don't like that he popped over to here. I want him to go down this route because it forces him to stop, jump, stop, jump, stop, jump. So that's part of the crowd control aspect to this. So I think all we really need to do is just, we put that block there. That should discourage them from trying to jump up there. I don't think they would try and jump up there. I mean, we'll just put another block to make sure that they don't. Pretty sure that that'll force them <clears throat> to go down this path, this path, up here, up here, jump up, have to turn, and then come this direction. Very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves an iron door. That's going to take tin forged iron. Eh... Let's make a wood door. No, let's make an iron door. Okay. So while that's cooking up, what we want to do over here now is, depending upon... Let me jump down here for a minute. Let's put another block out that way. Okay, so if... If the zombies fall through here, um, I mean, when Big Mama fell down there, she she just bailed off the side of the roof and came all the way back up the pathway again. But I'm not sure that they'll always do that. So we need we basically need a return for them if they fall down here. 
So I think what we'll do to make that work is we put that there. All right. We still got that stupid. All right. Well, let's just do this. What's up, Marlene? No, don't go down there. Hmm. I wonder if maybe those blocks are going to screw things up for us. All right. Well, let, let me finish this first because maybe it'll be okay. Okay, so that gives them a return if they, you know, fall through here, a return to get back to this point at least. And they still have to run all the way back around and go up the ladder to get up there. Okay. Now, let's pull these back up and grab our door. And we want to... Do advanced rotation. Uh, does that open up or down? I guess we'll find out. Down. Okay, good. Is this... Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's different. They could still walk along here, huh? That might be a problem. Yeah, there's all those we could test this with. Oh, it sounds like someone's coming back up. Okay. I think they're going to walk along the edge, so we might have to do hatches here instead. I'd prefer the door because the door can be... Um, you know, you just have to hit it once to open it. Whereas with the hatch, you got to open two. Not that that's that, that big of a deal, but. Go around the corner, Marlene. Come on. There she goes. So here's the thing. If this doesn't work. We have a very stout building to at least spin the horde night on. <laughs> okay, so she should jump every block up and down. Okay, I'm expecting her to walk along the edge of this door, though. But let's just see what happens. Hmm, so why didn't she walk along the edge? Okay, let's reestablish the path. So, okay, so now she sees there's a path to us once again, so she goes up the return. Come on. Come get me. There you go. Wait, don't do that. See, they made the Zoms, their behavior's a little less predictable in Alpha 21. See, why would she do that? Hmm. We might have to encourage them to, to come along the path if they start getting hung up like that. Oh, she, she bailed all the way off the roof. Okay, well, you know, based upon the behavior of the zombies in Alpha 21, I don't, I'm not expecting them to follow this path 100%. They're going to do some unpredictable things, but hopefully they'll follow it enough to where it'll be effective. I'm still concerned about this, though. 
I don't know how that's going to factor into the equation. Okay, we got Steve's attention now. If both Marlene and Steve fall through the door... See, she's doing some weird stuff there. I like to stop and hit on that corner a little bit. Okay, she hit on it for a little bit and then she ran. Okay, so let's let her go down. As soon as she gets up on the top block, we'll throw the door again and just see if she falls through again. I mean, okay, let's leave the door open for a second. Does she still detect a path to us? In fact, yeah, let's just leave it open the entire time and see what happens. And of course, the door is going to be for if if we start getting overrun, you know, to break the, the path. She still seems to think there's a path to us, so I think she's probably... Gonna walk along the side this time. Hmm, that was interesting. Okay, here. Close the door. Come back this way. No, don't go down there, dummy. Okay, so she back up there. Okay, so I close the door, or, well, open the door. She's coming up. What? <laughs> okay, Steve's pathing over here. Will he come all, try and get all the way up here, though, is the question. I really appreciate you Zombos helping us out here. Oh, well, he can do that. But that's not a problem because because we're not done here. I, I'm just trying to determine if this is going to actually work. I, I think it probably will. I think it probably will. Maybe... Maybe they still see this as a potential path because they know they can jump a two-block space. Let's just see what Marlene does. This is very interesting just to kind of see what's happening, you know. I bet you she's going to jump. Yep. <laughs> okay, but again, that's not going to actually be a problem because we're not done. All right, I think this I think this will work. I think this will work. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. We are going to um and There's a couple of different things we could try here. If I, I think, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is let's make an iron hatch here and we'll put an iron hatch down here uh, on this block. And while that's going on, we're going to put, let's go here, let's do a catwalk plate and put that on face like 
that. And up. Oh. oh, we got a bag. Nice. All right, now what I want to do is I did something similar to this in Alpha 19, I think it was. Maybe it was actually Alpha 20 vanilla. Um, copy rotation. All right, we need to make more cobble blocks. If I have time, I'm probably going to make a, a, uh, some more cobblestone. Uh how many more? 54. Let's do another. Um, yeah, let's do 20 more. Meantime, let's get this guy. And we want to put him right there. Okay. Now, copy block, copy rotation. Now what we need to do is put this plate here on face. Can we make that jump? I think so. Oh yeah. Gotta love that parkour. All right, now we're gonna do copy rotation. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fill this in because if the shit hits the fan, this is our escape back onto the roof over here. Um, and I'm, I'm going to need, if, you know, if it comes to that, we're going to need a way to prevent more Zeeks from coming along the path. I mean, the ideal way to do that would be to, you know, uh, break some more blocks and put some hatches down. But I don't know if I have time to do that because it just takes so long to break these blocks. Okay, good. Now, um, what we're going to do next is, uh, I don't want Zombadoodles squeezing through the thing there. So I think what we're going to do for that, uh, here, let's put one of those blocks, is we're going to do the horseshoe block. So we can still, we can still melee through there, but hopefully that'll prevent them from you know, piling up on each other and squeezing through that opening. That's the hope anyways. Okay, let's jump up here. <clears throat> okay, now we want to make sure that they can't jump over that. Probably the easiest thing to do there is just to make this a, uh, just a full, a regular block here. Or we could actually do frames. And the advantage of that is if we have vultures coming down on top of us, we could shoot through it. Yeah. I don't know if, Vulture spit can come through these, though. But we're probably not going to get a boss, a boss vulture on the 14th horde day either, though. That would be my guess. Okay, so how high up is that? That's three blocks high. We should probably do like an overhang to discourage them from trying to get up there. All right, 
I can't quite make that jump. Let's do that. That way we can shoot. Yeah, we can shoot through there. Um, I would like to give these a little more support, though. Let's make another... We're almost finished making these blocks. Let's make 10 more of these. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to... We could probably just use these little pillar pieces. Or actually, no, these would be even better. The doubles. Okay, so can we do an on face? No. <clears throat> oh, yeah, right there. Okay. Good. Now let's just copy rotation. had it for a second there and now it's not it's because my i myself am kind of in the way oh no we can't put it there because the the horseshoe blocks there okay well we can put that one there and this just provides support for these blocks because they were all just glued to the to the front block before good okay now i think We could get cops that are trying to spit at us through, you know, like coming down there. So I think what we want to do is we want a door. And I'm just going to do a wood door here. So we're not in line of sight to them. We could just put those up there, but I think... Uh, I think I'm just going to make those plates again. So that way when they're piled up here, they can't jump up and get up on top. Though, you know what, if they did though, we'd just shoot them. So that's not necessarily the end of the world if that happens. Okay. So yeah, this, uh, this ought to be interesting. You know, it's just something I, I kind of made up as we went. I didn't even have this specific plan in mind, necessarily. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to... Let's see, I've got, I've got 42 steel. So we're going to actually upgrade that to steel. Um, how much crete do I have left? Um... 10, 10. I just have 28. Because these could also take some damage from the sides too. So we'll keep those concrete, but the rest is just going to have to stay as cobble. Very good. All right, guys. I think that this is about as good as it's going to get. The only other thing I want to do, though, is if, if we end up having to bail and jump back on the roof here. Um, yeah, they could they could potentially jump up there. So I think what we better do is just um Oh, shoot. I want to put that there.
All right, so if we have to jump up on the roof, we could block them. Probably the quickest and easiest thing to do is just to place a block here. Um, you know, to prevent them from, from coming up any further. You can also put a hatch there, but... Eh. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just put a block in there. And if, you know, if there's still a few that are already up on the roof, then we'll just have to kill them. But once we block them from there, then they can't get up here. At least that's the theory. And uh, thanks to our parkour skills, parkour, we can just jump up there. If we accidentally miss it, then we can just pop up here and pop up here. And uh, we can also do this, I think. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can. Okay. If we, if we crouch, we can actually fit through there. Okay, good. So there's a couple of different avenues to get up here if the worst comes to worse. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, let's see. I've got 186 cobble. So I think what I'm going to do is um, just dig up a little bit of uh, dirt and maybe a little more stone. Just so we have a little more cobble for repairing. And then we will start up the next episode for Horde Night 14 with our obstacle course. It's very bizarre. <laughs> but like I said, it's what it, I, it's just what I came up with, you know, just making it up as I go kind of thing. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It might be a complete disaster. It might be a complete success. It'll probably be something in between those two extremes, though, uh, is my guess. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch... Whoops. This is what I want. Uh, we will catch you guys in the next episode where we will do Horde Night 14. See ya. Bye.